What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of A Road to a Million Miles. Uh, we uh, delivered here last night to the uh, Mayor Airport here. And uh, I just went in there to use the bathroom. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we're going to get out here. Uh, we're going to check the the uh, fleet manager. Sent over a few loads that we could choose from. So we'll pick one and uh, go with it. Uh, we're going to hop in here real quick. And um, see what we can do. Alright, there we go. All right, so we're going to hop in here, open up the, the uh, computer. And check out the loads that he sent us that are available. And uh, see which one we want to take. We're going to run over to um, the service center, pick up some empty pallets, and we're going to take them to a Walmart in Tacoma for $2,600. So that's what we're going to get. Uh, let's start this bad boy up. Put some clutch in, make sure we're neutral real quick. And. Uh, Uh, I did put the camera back up. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys can see it down here in this, down here in this corner. Uh, so you guys said you wanted to see the camera, so we got that. Uh, let's hop, uh, let's turn the lights on real quick and four ways. We're just going to hop out real quick, do a quick little uh, inspection of the truck and make sure. Uh, do a quick little inspection of the truck, make sure all the lights are working, make sure the trailer is still connected and stuff. All those are working, all those are on. See if we can squeeze under here real quick. Make sure our kingpin is still locked, and it is. It's all nice and clean under here. Beautiful. That's working. That's working. Let's get back out here. There we go. All right. So we'll walk back here. Make sure all the lights are still working like they're supposed to be. Got my trailer tails are open. Better fuel mileage, so they say. Those are working. All oh, that's working. Mud flaps are still attached. That's always a good thing. So I got got some got some answers for you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions about some things, so I will answer those for you. Oh, let's make sure my airlines are still hooked up, and they are. Uh, theoretically, you'd go through here with a hammer and beat on the uh, wheels, but that's not going to happen. All right, let's get back in the truck here. All right, so we're uh, we're gonna go ahead and get on the way, but I will answer some questions that I've been I've been getting a lot of questions about some stuff, so we're gonna we're gonna answer those for you guys today. Um, let's go ahead and push the brakes in. All right. trying to float gears in this thing and uh, it doesn't really work not like it does in real life um, but I've been having a hell of a time trying to figure out how to get that to do without Turn using left. the clutch so alright alright so I've been getting a lot of questions about how I get out and walk around and look at the truck uh, I use I you go into the documents folder and open up the um commands the command console and just unlock it and once you've unlocked it you hit the zero key oh. uh, the zero key will take you out of the truck and then with uh, eight six four and two you can walk around the truck so hopefully that will Help some of you guys with some questions that you had. Continue straight. Oh, I guess I should stop. 
Come on. You go away for a week and a half on vacation, come back, and you can't drive the damn truck no more because uh, the way they designed the clutch in here. Now I gotta stop again. <laughs> so, yeah, you just go into the console command. Um, Squirrel, I don't know if you guys know Squirrel or not, he actually made a video on how to unlock the console commands. And then all you do is you just. Uh, So Squirrel made a video about it, how to unlock it. Once you unlock it, like I said, just hit zero um, on the the numpad, not the numpad meters. itself, Turn right. but the numbers above the keys. Hit the zero key that takes you out of the truck, and Turn then with right. eight, six, five, and two, uh, you can move around, and then you can spin it, like turn and look with the mouse. And then to make it go faster or slower, you just use the scroll wheel on your mouse. So scroll up goes faster. You have arrived. Uh, scroll down goes slower. That's how I do it. Why does it? I that. I'll be glad when we get enough to where I can get a different truck. I did not like the way the clutch operates in this thing. All right, so let's go in here, pop the brakes, and uh, see what loads they got that we've already selected, and get ours and go. Uh, right there. So it's going to be 41,807 or 27 pounds of empty pallets. And it's going to go to Walmart in Tacoma, Washington, south of Seattle. So it's going to be 797 miles. We won't be able to do it all today, I don't think. Uh, it is 5.52 a.m. I wish it would give you like more information right here. See when they want to. Uh, expected Friday, so yeah, there we go. Uh, Alright, so let's see where they want. Is that where they want my trailer right there? Howard, see, I wish this game had realistic expectations. How in God's green earth? Are they supposed to load my truck with a fence behind it? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. So. I don't know how that's going to happen. If I can even make that turn. Uh, I'll be pushing it with that too. actually the first time I've played this game since the I filmed episode 3 uh, I filmed episode 3 like two weeks ago because uh, the wife and I went on a cruise which I put that video up yesterday so you guys should have seen that already if you're interested in that kind of thing and uh, I haven't played this since uh, we got back well, this place is just all about me getting my truck fixed here I'm like not here to fix my truck. I'm here to pick up this stupid load in this stupid pickup spot you got. Alright, there we go. Alright, well, I guess they'll figure out. Maybe the fence moves down in the back. So that's that, that. 
and shut that off. And then I guess we'll uh, wait for them to load the trailer real quick. Alright, so we got it loaded. Uh, turns out that was just where they wanted us to park uh, until they got it loaded. Um, we actually pulled out from the side of the door and then they loaded it with ramps like that. So then we parked it back here. So we're going to hop in here and get this on the way. We got the bills. And uh, let's go real quick, make sure the lock's on it. So we're gonna hop in here and be get on our way. It's got the locks on. I don't know how far we'll make it today. So let's hop up in here real quick. Alright, so like I said, I don't know how far we'll make it today. But uh, we'll do our best. So that's all that's all we can ask for is that we do our best. So let's uh, push those in. It's at 41,000 pounds, so we'll try a second gear. Oh, she's heavy. Alright, so. We're loaded, so let's get going. Turn right. So, yeah, like I was saying, the wife and I, we just went on a cruise. Uh, took the Carnival Magic out of Florida down to. Um, if you've seen the video, you already know that. But we went to Half Moon K in the Bahamas. And then we went to um, Grand Turk. Now, I personally didn't like Grand Turk. I thought Grand Turk was kind of... Turn left. Wasn't really all that good, personally. Uh, I got offered drugs more times in Grand Turk than I ever did in Baltimore. Uh, so that was an unpleasant experience. So we spent most of the time at Grand Turk on the boat. We got out and looked a little bit, but that was about it. We left Grand Turk, we went to the Dominican Republic, which was really nice. I actually really liked the Dominican Republic. That's a cool place to go. Uh, we went zip lining in the Dominican Republic, which was really awesome. I'm gonna get a ticket for that. Hopefully nobody's behind me. Oh, now I got it because I backed up. I should have just went through the fucking light. Um, Jesus. I lose more money in violations than anything. <laughs> I should have just went through it. <laughs> Next time I'll run that bitch. Uh, yeah, so we went to the Dominican Republic, my zip lining. That was really fun. Um, we enjoyed that a lot. So, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm glad I went. It was fun. It was fun. She wants to do our next one. Um, next one we're thinking about if we if we can afford it. Uh, we're thinking about uh, the Symphony of the Seas through the Royal Caribbean. Uh, it's currently the biggest uh, cruise ship out there. And uh, go big or go home, I say. So we're going to do that one next. Whenever we get the funds to do so. this time. <laughs> so have you guys got suggestions of um, any kind of suggestion, I guess. Um, I know a lot of you guys are here for LSPDFR. And I know there's a lot of you guys that like ATS, but uh, LSPDFR, I'm just kind of taking a small little break. But I'm not stopping it. I'm just taking a small little break because it gets monotonous after a while. Like, because it's literally the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. Like there's never a difference. It's always exactly the same. And it's just no fun after a while. It just gets really boring. Um, LC PDFR, I've started that. Uh, yeah, you guys saw two episodes that seemed to be a uh, pretty good hit you guys so far and I like that. I appreciate the feedback on that. Yeah, I know a lot of people watch videos and never comment. You guys have no idea how much it means when you guys comment on videos because it uh, shows that you guys care and it means a lot. Use the right lane, then turn right. Turn 
turn right. I will when I get there. Or can I not go that way? Is that what's blocked?
battered and beaten truck.
says I'm getting tired again. I don't really know how. Next rest stop, six hours. Okay. Yeah, the next rest stop is in six hours. So.
now you can see green. Getting close to Oregon. See if we can find a place to stop for fuel. Okay, right there. It's a big ass truck stop. I knew there was one coming up somewhere. I just couldn't remember where it was. That's not happening. Alright, so we'll set it there. Alright, so no, 
I'm gonna get rid of two. There we go. All right. All right. So we found that truck stop. So we'll go there. That's where we'll get fuel and stop for the night. And then we'll finish the rest of the run in the next the next episode after after we sleep. Navigation resumed. Can I not? Yeah, I can right there. Navigation resumed. Navigation resumed. There we go. Make a U-turn. I'm not gonna make a U-turn, lady. Be quiet. Alright. Right here in the middle so we can fuel up the truck. Am I up far enough? No. Why? Pop the brakes, shut her down, get some, top it off on fuel. Three twenty nine a gallon. <sighs> yeah, I know you're tired. Seven hundred and fifteen dollars. Holy shit. Right. Right. Push those in. Seven hundred and fifteen dollars. 
pull through. Oh, there's plenty of them. No, not over there. There's that. Yeah, there it is right there. We're gonna go to that one right there. <sighs> yes, I know. You keep saying that. Let me get parked and we'll deal with that. I think I went too far. Back it up just a little bit. right there I think that's good right there there we go I like that pop that off shut that off so let's get rid of that so there we go <laughs> so there it is all right, guys, I'm going to end this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button and comment all that good fancy stuff. Let me know uh, what you want me to talk about. Let me know if you got any subjects or things like that you want to hear or see or something like that. And we'll try to incorporate it. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So you guys are the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.